with two dogs, two cats, and a handful of kids, I have the ideal environment to test out a wet-dry vacuum. Every day brings a seemingly endless stream of dirt, dust, and hair into my kitchen and living room. When Obarak introduced the new Dyad wet-dry vacuum, I couldn't wait to see how this cordless stick mop handles everyday grime and more. So, welcome to our new product review episode. If you are new in our channel then please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for notification of our new videos. My typical arsenal of cleaning tools includes a dustpan, broom, small stick vacuum, Swiffer mop for light cleaning, and a steam mop for heavy duty cleaning. All these items take up considerable space in my closet, leaving me little room for anything else. With great joy. I cleared out the closet and replaced all my brooms and mops with the single row ball rock dyad. It's an all-in-one both in function and in weight. At 11 pounds, the row ball rock dyad is heavy to carry around. Thankfully, the rollers assist in moving the unit when you are actively vacuuming. The dyad saved space in my closet and saved me time and money. Instead of using multiple tools and a myriad of cleaning supplies, I was able to sweep and mop with one device. I didn't have to worry about finding the dustpan. I didn't have to purchase expensive refills for the Swiffer or pads for my steam mop. All I needed was some water, and I was ready to go. The Dyad is equipped with an LCD that monitors battery life and both clean and dirty water levels. The Dyad did a reasonable job cleaning my dirty kitchen floors. It picked up all the pet hair and dirt on my floor as long as I vacuumed every day. The front rollers and rear rollers can spin in opposite directions, helping to scoop up even the most stubborn dust and debris. If I waited a few days, the pet hair accumulated, and I had to do a light sweep before following up with the dyad. Similarly, it did a great job on everyday stains but struggled with deep stains like those you find under and around the refrigerator or stove. The rollers do offer some scrubbing that helps with light stains, but these tough ground and stains require a fair amount of elbow grease that the dye just can't muster. Battery life was as expected. It routinely lasted for up to 25 minutes, allowing me to vacuum multiple rooms. The Roball Rock Dyad is definitely not your standard vacuum where the head is aligned squarely and securely with the vacuum's body. Instead, the Dyad has a 180 degree swiveling head that gives the unit a loosey goosey feel that's disconcerting at first. With the Dyad, the head can articulate freely in a semi circle. You push the vacuum, and the head moves according to the contour of the room. It also has an edge to edge roller that allows the vacuum to reach deep into the nooks and crannies of your rooms. The Dyad is tapered to fit underneath counters, but only on one side. One side is low enough to fit underneath the counters, but the other side is too bulky. I could easily clean edge to edge between the counters, but I had to be particular in how I vacuumed if I wanted to reach all the way underneath them. I love how the Roball Rock Dyad manages dirt. The Dyad vacuums all the dirt and water from the floor and channels it into a dirty canister. There is no cloth you need to wash or a Swiffer refill you have to purchase. When you are done wet dry vacuuming, you simply dump out that single container, and you are ready for the next round of cleaning. Once stocked, the Dyad has a self-cleaning function that rinses the rollers automatically using the clean water reservoir. It takes just a few minutes to wash the rollers and collect the filthy water in the dirty reservoir. Unlike the LG Cord Zero, which empties the dirty water into the base, the Dyad does not self-empty. You still have to dump out the dirty water before you begin cleaning again. Thanks for watching this video. If you think this video is useful, then please give a like in this video and share with others. Bye for now.